Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Andrew McCarthy, IFL TV. I'm up here in Glasgow and I've got Glasgow's own superstar. Yeah. Aston, well, should it be superstar? I'm telling you, it's going to happen, Aston. How's things, mate? All right, mate. Fantastic. Nice wee open workout. Um, good crowd here today. I enjoyed that. I really did. This, this is what you've been waiting for a long time. You, you again, I'm not going to go over old ground. Extensive amateur career, turned pro, a little bit of laps. You're back now. This is what you've been waiting for for a long, long time. Is this where you've got, you're in your home city, you've got a fantastic crowd behind you, you're in a good fight now. Yeah. You're not against a journeyman. You really know you're probably the heavy favourite, but you're probably in with somebody that I believe that I've been told, sorry, that's going to come swinging. Yes. He's going to try and take that jaw off you, which is what you want. 100%, mate. As I we spoke about before, Andy, once I get somebody who comes to swing back at me, that's when they'll go to sleep. 100%. I can punch, mate. No, I mean, everybody's no secret. If it's spam partners, whatever, I can whack. So, but once you get to open people up, that's when you'll show it, no, I mean. So, I'm looking forward to it, mate. I'm excited to be getting active. Uh, as you said, a fight where I need to be on my toes and switched on. No, just like a couple of fights before, you can just coast and do your own thing. And I think that's when you see the best of me, mate. Obviously, that extensive amateur career, a lot of amateurs, they get pushed ahead a little bit quicker than most. You've had that lapse and you've had two journeymen which probably haven't opened up for you. They haven't came with the same ambition as you. And it's hard for you to find gaps, but you're more of a guy that you like to slip dip and then get the counter in yeah. and find the little spots. So you're hoping for this this time round? 100% mate. Show my skill set, you know what I mean? And my power, my ability and what I'm all about a bit more. Especially with somebody coming to punch back, leave the gaps open, boom, it's there. Right? Good night. Good night. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure we're going to have a good, good fight come May 3rd now. Your, your, your pro career started and uh, you went down to Liverpool with Joe Mack and Deco, Josh Taylor, good stevemates down there. Now you've made the transition back up to Glasgow, your home city. Um, any reason behind that? Mate, no, there was no reason behind it. Just a few things changing in my life and then some people's, I think, a couple of things changing in the gym that and I felt it was the best thing for me, mate, just to come home. I had an amazing year down there under Joe and Declan. Two great friends and two fantastic coaches, mate. I learned a lot and I can bring it back home and... I've just bought a new house in that area, Andy, so things are changing for me and I'm happy. I'm in a good place, mate. You know what I mean? Good, and that's what I like when there's a happy Aston Brown. You're back up the road then. Uh, you mentioned there with Craig Stevens that even though you've got that amateur record as good as some of these young kids on this bill, um, you're a lot older. Yeah. I don't want to say you're age 33. Yes, mate. Well, you're 33 years old, but um, you feel 23. You feel like you've just got that hunger and that desire in you now where you're, you're not ready to show these young kids how it's done, but... You ready to just put on a massive show for again, all these fans? Yes, mate, I'm, I'm ready to put on a massive show and put my mark down the next couple of years and show what I'm all about, mate, and, and make something of boxing and make something of myself, mate. You know what I mean? What I was set out today, I'm not finished here, mate. I just start. Well, we mentioned your age 33, right? And uh, you're what now? 2024 has just, uh, we'll just begun in April now. Um, you're what these big fights now? Yeah. You get this fight out of the way. You gonna mention any names for me? You know, you know what I'm like. I said I like a good little uh, call out every now and again. And you got any names for me? I like the Troy Williams fight, mate. Uh, I spoke to him on Twitter the other day. You know what I mean? I said I would. Ha he said I seen his move up to 160, which I think is a great move for him. I think he's killed himself for years to make 154, and he said a great career at 154. I think he is at 160. So he said on Twitter, anybody at 160 wants it, and I'm like, well, I'm happy to fight you at 160. If all the bigger names are tied up, which they are in the, the tournament in Japan and stuff like that, there's a lot of names tied up in there. But again, I understand we need a big promoter involved in that because Troy's probably, at the stage of his career, he's only wanting to fight on big shows and big money. And I get that and I respect that. But if we can make something happen, mate, that's the fight I want. Could you bring it to, to Scotland? Could you bring, could that, could that Troy Williamson fight, could it be at the Emirates? That's 4,000, that might not be big enough, but there is the, the hydro there. You could make it to six, 8,000 at the hydro. Ian Wilson looks to be dipping his toe into this big market now, the big stadium fights. Could uh, Aston Brown, with these young kids, all these talented young kids that we've got on the undercard here, could that be a possibility in the future? Could you bring that fight here to Scotland? I think we could, mate. I mean, if the numbers make sense for both of us, I think it could come. If Josh, when Josh Taylor beats Catterall, if he comes back to Scotland, then he could get on that show, can it? Because that would be a major platform to put on, but that might be in a wee bit of time. So, but aye, we could, we could, we could do it, mate. Listen, I'm happy to go on the road as well, Andy. Happy to fight anywhere. And again, as Craig, say, Craig said, I'm probably the guy that nobody needs. Just now, you know what I mean? Um, but I'll get my opportunity, mate, and I'll shine under the lights. Aston, how do you become that guy that everybody wants? Do you need to... You don't have to be more vocal on social media, but do you need a sort of title, a little carrot to dangle in front of them? Or do you need... I don't, you know, what, what is it that you need to get these guys to fight you? I think it is, mate. You might be right. Some sort of 
Celtic title, I don't know. I honestly don't know what sort of title, mate. It could be a title, but um, or just somebody taking the risk and getting your opportunity in it. Somebody staying ready and then, like, late notice, somebody's pulled out and they go, oh, we need somebody, we need somebody decent, but, and boom, you're in. And that's when I, I can take over. That's, when, that's why you stay in the gym, because I don't think I've seen you out the gym in the best part of a year and a half, to be honest. Very, very short career boxing, mate, you know what I mean? And that's my advice to the young guys. Just be pure gym rats, stay in the gym, live and breathe again and you'll be successful. Hey, what, that being said, we've just seen that with Sebastian Fondura against Tim Zhu. Sebastian got the call late notice to step up for that world title and end up winning a, a, becoming a unified world champion after a knockout loss. So, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's testament to stay in the gym, but Aston, it'll be remiss of me not to talk about Josh Taylor, Jack Carroll, since you yeah. touched on it a little bit. Yeah. Again, I'll probably ask this question, you're going to give me the answer that everybody's expecting, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What's going to happen? Six rounds, he stops him in six rounds, mate. I'm not changing my, my view on it, you know what I mean? Um, I think the Josh Taylor I'm seeing, speaking to I get we inside clip it's the training and stuff like that. Um, the dangerous man, back to being a dangerous, dangerous man, mate. Injuries have healed up, his eyes are better, he's fully focused, he's got a point to prove, and you see the best Josh Taylor come fight night. Back to you then, May 3rd, you're up against a good opponent, that's it. Again, he's going to come swinging for you, you know what I mean, and that's what you want, so what's going to happen? KO, mate. Knockout. Getting chinned and that's You've been itching for that? I've been itching for it for a while, mate, but as you said, the last two didn't come and give me it, you know what I mean? Which is fair play. I it was only my first two fights back after a long, long time out. But I think we've, what they call webs off, mate, you know what I mean? It's time to put people to sleep. That's what I like to hear, Aston. Thank you so much, brother. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you, man. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.